I came here to announce that I would die for my passion. I would endure to a point undefined without goodbye. I declare that I'm willing to sacrifice everything, live in distress, detached from nice. I came to announce that enough is enough. We should all sustain through the rough and the tough. These may be my prayers, maybe a final farewell, but it is time that hopeless distress rings that bell. It is time for me to be the change I want to see, not any change that it will be. It is a change that will make you and me free, a change that will reveal the underlying key. The secret beyond the axis of X, Y, and Z. These may be dimensions, might be called 3D. The point is, there is more beyond what you see. Together, let us unite. Let us all nod for the sake of generations to come, for each and every Todd. How, where, and why? How exactly will a difference be made? How will you and I? When is it that we will all notice that we can reach as high? And why is it that when you all hear this, all I get is a sigh? The most a human ever does is be dead. We all struggle to live just to end with that dread. The world we live in today is one of ambition. It is not of power, destruction, or demolition. Now, let me answer each and every question. How? Yes, it'll definitely happen somehow. It may happen later, but I'd prefer now. But it'll not happen without you and me, him, they, her, and she, everyone, all of us together. We, our power lies in our unity, tell her to the bargain of our entity. When? Let us ask the Big Ben, not of London but of our own men, to notice the lost potential of an everyday pen, a book, a journal, anything written. Real eyes don't just realize the real lies. They roof for whatever lost the truth and sighs. Personally, I thought I was in a land destined to be lost, but the years heal, reveal, and do not conceal the cost. I aspire to inspire a future knowledgeable and aware about public welfare for the greater good we should all care. Calling within us for the hidden mind to be prospected, for the good in people gaining respect and being respected. For the day when the world will once again prevail, when to peace we all shall hail. Success and succeed, they are not derivatives, they are synonyms. Synonyms of a verb defined by what is done to achieve passion. Success is simply doing what it takes to reach that point of steadiness and compassion. Here, I'm nothing but a 17-year-old trying to confront the world with everything I've got. I'm not, I'm not successful yet, and will not consider myself, myself successful until I can inspire. 
do you see any difference between you and the successful people around you? Are they not human just like you? This entire world is managed by people. The most powerful country in the world governed by people. The strongest army in the world governed, uh, run by people. The most advanced university in the world administered by people. Just like you and I. Well, if, we had, if you just had one moment, one opportunity to grasp that passion you've always sought for, would you take a hold of it? Well, listen to me. Anybody here know what the second shortest surah is in the Quran? Shortest. Surah Al-Asr. Yes, exactly. Well, everybody is a loser. Every single person in this room is a loser. Defined a loser, not by me, not by anybody, but by God. Until he does as stated in Surah Al-Asr. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر Exactly the four steps to reach the divine success God's definition of success. First, believe, believe in yourself. Believe to conceive. Second step, work hard. Don't just work hard. Work hard sincerely. Third step, commence to influence towards virtue and justice. Final step, Acquaintance, patience. Therefore, you'd rejoice to rejuvenate. Well, now let, let us take a very basic physical concept. The law of conservation of energy. Energy can't be destroyed. It can only change from one form to another. The total of input equals the total of output in one way or another. The more effort you put into whatever you do in life, the more successful you are in that field. Do not ever, never consider any slight attempt, a waste of effort or time gone astray. Always remember the law of conservation of energy. It is energy, effort, conserved over time. Life is never about how hard you can hit or how far you can succeed or how far you can reach. It's always about how much you can endure and how much you can sustain. Let me speak about a couple of examples from my young life. Once an extensively obese 13 year old weighing 90 kilograms. A lot of people face the problem of obesity, but I noticed that the only way out would be that spirit of stoic self-control, maintaining diet and exercise. Even after losing many kilograms, 30 kilograms, my resolve would not stay at rest as I continue running, weightlifting, swimming, until now. Well, here's another case. Back in 2010, I was nearly devastated when I didn't qualify for the international research competition. Earlier in 2011, I qualified, but technicalities prevented me from being judged. It was shattering. It doesn't mean it's time to give up. It was just the motivation to be the founder of the first youth research club in the country, and also gave me the honor to become first place research, high school researcher in the kingdom. All right, who's good at 
physics around here. Let's, let, us, let us take another physical concept. Now, we have two of the same bodies at two different heights. Who knows which of the bodies falls faster? Anybody? Which body falls faster? <laughs> it was a trick question. They fought the same gravitational acceleration. Now to the real deal. Which body falls harder? Exactly. The one containing the most mechanical energy falls hardest. Mechanical energy is the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy. Now let's take this metaphor to reality. Sometimes in life, we fall so hard. We go through so much pain. Does it mean it's time to give in? No, it's not. Not at all. It's just a notice of how much potential energy you contain, how much force you have to keep on moving forward in whatever field you're trying to do. But don't forget, there's always kinetic energy. If you don't have that potential, just it, it's based on velocity. Increase your speed. Increase your effort. Double your effort. You'll, you'll reach much further. Always remember the mechanical energy concept of life. Now, will you be able to conquer your own potential energy, your own kinetic energy? Even so, sometimes we just fall so hard, it makes us feel very weak, very inferior. You have to believe in something. You have to trust in something. Personally, I take God. But there's much more to it if all you can think of is karma, destiny, your gut. And whatever you may say. It was stated in, in our Quran. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Asa an takrahu shay'an wa huwa khayrun lakum. Wa asa an tuhibbu shay'an wa huwa sharrun lakum. Sometimes you may hate something, but it might be for the best for you. And sometimes you may love something, but it may be just the worst thing that happened to you. But, you know, we all know Steve Jobs, right? We all tweeted, Facebook, BBM. We all know, we all know about his death. But do we remember his precious speech back in 2005 at Stanford University? Steve Jobs spoke about the same concept. It's, it's not a religious concept. It's a concept of life. Always believe in something. It was very, very, very Im hard, impossible to connect the turning points of Steve Jobs' life looking forward. But when he looked backwards, it was very, very clear and very easy to connect the dots. When you don't get what you want in life, it doesn't mean that it's over. Just believe in that, per, that individual belief you have. Just always believe and trust in that one thing that promises the best for you. Putting my life on the line of connected dots. Last summer, it was my last summer in high school. I was dying to enroll into a research program. It didn't happen. I couldn't look forward. It was impossible. I felt, I felt like my summer is, is over. I have nothing to do. But as time passed by, opportunity, 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 opportunity. I had more, like, more, and more than one opportunity and one time to choose between. Six consecutive weeks my summer was, three different activities abroad. It was most time efficient, most productive, and the best summer I've ever had. I even got a chance to work on my individual research throughout the summer. It was impossible to look forward, but when I look backwards, I'm glad I didn't have a research program after all. You know what? You are the change. You are the future. You are the influence. And most important of all, you all are the inspiration. 
Success never lies in any individual aspiration. It's buried within teamwork, cooperation, buried in the depth of unity. Jeez. You name it. Even at my insignificant level in life, I'm not who I am without the things around me, people around me, organizations around me. I'm not who I am without my mother, my father, my brothers, my friends, my teachers, my school, the Haran Ahliya schools, Talent Center, Mohiba, every single person that had even the slightest contribution to who I am, into forging my personality, my character as Salim al Dajani, as a student, as a researcher, as a mathematician. Well, now, now. When you're reminiscing in one of those lonely nights, let's let it all pass by as a glimpse of sight. Together, let us call for God's merciful might. Grant us the power to fearlessly fight in just justice upon black and white. Grant us the mercy to attain our height. A human forgives. It's gonna be all right. Grant us the integrity to kindle the light. Diminishing the darkness, eternally bright. Grant us the glory of ancestors' might. Grant us the wisdom to support our rights. Precisely defer the wrong from the right. Originality of our beliefs, not just slight, reference to them in our delight. But in a pinch, our lips, we bite. What is seen in media? Not always right. What we do best? Just see what they cite. Ignorantly believe and then cite our own sight. It's like making our own ropes but flying their kite. Don't let it question you. No maybes, not even might. You will make that difference. You will definitely launch that flight. Well, we all know that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Then let us all declare that we no longer will linger over hurtful words that merely trigger pain without even lifting a finger, disdain without even a harmful figure, Bane without even a, a, a threat of danger. Now, we all must honestly believe it's all part of the past. Just leave it behind you and you will conceive. Set out for the future. Optimize that all of those downs, all of those lies, just make us all rise above those destined with demise. And thank you for listening.